This is a presentation on the new features within AlphaCam 2016 R1. This presentation will deal with the File Inserter. The File Inserter is a new tool for basically inserting drawings into the current AlphaCam drawing and it introduces a new Project Manager page. That Project Manager page obviously allows you to do links to folders and those folders can contain AlphaCam drawings and parametric sketches. And what it actually does is gives you a preview of what the file is that you're going to insert. The insert command has been in AlphaCam for a long time. Obviously you had to go off and browse for your file and it obviously you'd be wading through folders and here you can have the folders predefined so you can browse straight to them and get an immediate preview of what's in there. And because you can obviously point pointers to several folders it makes your file management a little bit easier. It includes an option to have the 2D transform command on or off. So if you have the command on, when you insert the drawing, it automatically activates the 2D transform command that allows you to modify the drawing you're inserting accordingly. If you want to put a fixed drawing, for example, you might be inserting hinges or locks, you can turn the 2D transform command off, so it will just insert the fixed drawing. So let's go have a look at the file inserter within AlphaCam 2016 R1. The file inserter then is the new tab on the project manager and we can see that we can have parametric sketches or we can have simple 2D AlphaCam drawings. And what this allows us to do is look through our folder, find the door drawing that we want and I can now drag this in. I can change any values that I want to And it will update the geometries and then say OK and it asks where we want to insert that. I shall put that in at 0, 0. And you see we have the 2D transform command automatically active because I have it active here on the project manager. So we have this feature in. Now let's put something else in there. So let's go for some decorative features. Let's drag this in. So I can put this down here in the middle and I can make it a bit bigger, scale it up, rotate it round by minus 90 degrees and I can drag these features, move it around, stretch it or I can just click on a specific point, click on a specific point and have this feature exactly how I want it within the drawing. So this is a simple way of using the file inserter with 2D drawings and parametric sketches. But let's look at a little bit more of a, a, a better way, I think, of, of how this would be used. So let's add in a new folder. So you browse to where you have your drawings saved away. And we can see here I have a parametric sketch of a door blank. So we obviously enter the sizes that we're happy with. We can then say OK to this and I'm going to insert this at 0, 0, 0. And what we can see in the 3D view now is we have the outside of a door blank but instead of having all of my apertures, locks and things already drawn I've just put some fixture fitting insert datum points. So what I'm now going to do is I'm going to, as we've drawn this on work planes, activate the top work plane and now insert the features that I want on there. So I want to have an aperture, so let's look at my apertures. I drag and drop. If I press the control key down and select the snap that I want, it will remain modal for the next ones that I'm going to insert. And I can put that here. I could use my 2D transform to rotate this feature around if I want. If I'm happy with it, I can just press escape. So I'm now going to insert a handle and I'm going to go on the center point here. No need to rotate that round. And let's put a letter plate in as well. I'm not going to rotate any more features, so I'm just going to turn off the 2D transform now. And let's put in a letter box and go on the center point there. Now I want to put in some horizontal features, so I need to go and change my work plane. Let's go to the front face, back to the file inserter, and let's find the hinges. Let's insert a hinge here 
and another hinge here. Then we're going to go and activate the back face to put our lock in. Once again, let's go find the locks folder, insert the new feature, snap it to a position. So now I have all my geometries in place so I could have a whole folder of all of the features that I want, all of the different types of hinges, different types of locks and then when I've inserted all of those on pre-drawn user layers I can just come to my simple machining style and apply it that we saw earlier and it's applied all the machining for the door in no time at all. What I can then do is if I just want to check the simulation I can go back to file inserter go back in and put my material in and then run a solid simulation and I can see my features being machined. So as you can see with just setting up a few predefined geometries and parametric sketches you can start to create your geometries and apply your machining in a very very fast and effective method.